The Desert X Prix double header. Five cars on the grid ready to bang doors into turn one. These guys get away better. McConnell, they're staring at the lights. Hammer down now, release the handbrake and release all that horsepower down towards turn one on the inside line. It's a great start for RJ Anderson, backs the car in, runs Matthias Ekstrom out right. Ekstrom takes that long line in the background. Watch out here for Johan Christophson. The RXR machine, he's passed three cars already. Gonna try and take the McConnell line around the outside. RXR outside, inside line for Veloce. Rear end of Fraser McConnell kicks up super high. It is RXR who lead from the outside of the car. today goes from outside to inside and gets the whole shot that's outstanding wow what a phenomenal start huge congratulations to rxr the strategy there that johan christopherson played was absolute perfection now he just has to uh, will defend his position from veloce racing they're not gonna make it easy for him no they're not kevin hansen's all over the back already on board now looking forward the visibility is not too bad here you are with kevin look gritting his team for concentration full lock through the right hander Anybody got an Inoa hyperdrive left for this straight to see if they can make a pass? The pack is so close together. I reckon they've all used it off the start, looking at this. Oh, Chris Jobson gets a little bit sideways, drops the car down now onto the smooth sand. They are really flirting with that water. We saw all the cars getting sucked in there this morning, including that one, the actual other side, the extra's at the wheel off. That took a trip into the Red Sea with Liar Sands this morning. Chris Jobson through the right hand to Kevin Hansen in behind. They bump up through this section. It could not be closer. I mean... Who would have thought that Anderson, who actually we thought had the advantage being on the left hand side at the start of the race, is actually disadvantaged and is now going to have to make a pass to try and claw the car back into the race. Now it's going to be a little bit more difficult for him to do so. We saw McConnell playing for P3 earlier on yesterday. We got a whole day of race tomorrow so you know, we tell the drivers less moaning about grid position get on with it you read my mind yeah. exactly <laughs> Chris Dawson has just shown it can be so stop complaining but brilliant start for Rosberg X Racing here today the first oh. first race in New York and sideways on the landing there was the Seven between the first and second place of Rosberg X Racing and Veloce. So wide open, this could well come down to the, the driver switch and then the, the second drivers as well. How close is this for round one? Wow. Yeah, absolutely. So close. Uh, but of course, they're going to have in the back of their mind, you've got to be careful because we saw it all unfold uh, in the earlier race, in the, the redemption race. Uh, car spinning, particularly on those grass verges. So all it takes is taking the wrong line No doubt they were not going to be putting all of their cards on the oh. table at the moment. Hummery off the side of the track, so that's a mistake or a broken car, but Chris Jobson, RJ Anderson and Kevin Hansen are going to have to make a pass to try and get that car back into the race. Right there, look at them dipping the left wheels in the water, trying to find the smooth sand and the extra traction. They're going to come in really close. We've got a yellow flag situation somewhere out on track, so we'll have a slow zone. It's saying at waypoint 17. That's just popped up on our time screen. There is extra. He's only three seconds back, and he was right on the back of these two, so maybe a mistake for him somewhere while we were looking at RJ and he parked up. Chris Dobson. causing a few visibility issues but of course the wheels on the back of the cars help lead the car ahead uh, so hopefully nothing too dramatic but it, it's always going to make it more of a challenge it is indeed you want to be in that p1 position interesting isn't it that christopherson can't really break away you think if it was enough of an advantage he'd be able to break away so late in the race now he puts on the switch zone speed limiter and that's there's anderson uh, he's parked right next to the jump this jump's not going to be comfortable like that
Okay, for the switch zone then. So, coming in, what are the gaps as they come in? It's 3.1 seconds between Rosberg X Racing and Veloce. And then uh, coming back.